Hello, I'm back to show you how I personalize my glue books. I already told you that I, you know, you pick these up at the Dollar Tree or your favorite grocery store. There should be a lot of them out by now. And they may even be cheaper than a dollar because school is getting ready to start. Um, so all I'm going to do is show you how I personalize it uh, with washi tape and stuff like that to get it that fatness that we like. Now, you know, I've been working on this since 20, in the 2016, 2017. So yours won't be this fat because it's, it's a lot of stuff in here. But it's still going to start you off so you'll have that big blue book feel that we like in our composition books. So, <clears throat> wonder which one I'm going to choose. I guess I'll choose the blue one. And I have a cover on mine, a book cover, which you'll also be here to find a lot of around this time of year. But you could, you know, put stickers on it or personalize the front any way you want. I have my washi tape. This is a good use up for your washi tape. And I also have my Distress Ink. And I use the Distress Ink, as I said, to break the page. You know, just randomly. This is something you might want to do while watching television or something. Just break the page so you won't be intimidated by, oh my goodness, this is a blank page. I don't know where to start. And I just normally just skip around. You could use magic marker, you could use crayon, or you could skip this step entirely. You know, this but this is how I do it. And sometimes this helps with the placement of the items you pull out because instinctively if you turn if you're holding a page that may complement the, the pink you may stop on this and then lay it down and it gets you started so you don't necessarily what other colors can i use again you can use magic market crayon it's just to get that color down onto the page This is a fun um, activity to do when you have a lot to think about. Um, because I I like to do um, junk journal, other kinds of journaling. I have these. These are fun too. I don't know if they sell the distress paints anymore. But again, you could skip this part. Okay, that's old. I need to. Just hop around. You do not again have to do this. You use matching marker, crayon, anything you'd like to use. This is, I like doing art that I have with stuff. But again, you don't have to do this. But it just helps to break the page. Okay, let's move on to the next step, the washi tape. Uh, 
This is so... Anybody who knows me, you know I love the border anyway, but this gives it a nice look when you, from the side. There's my book. I'm going to put it down. Well, you know, look. The side gets uh, done. Let's see, right there, you already have your orange and your green down. And that helps when you have your magazine or whatever you want to glue down. You may instinctively go to a page that it will match. You're not thinking. Well, I don't like to think it too hard when I'm glue bucking, but it helps. Maybe we're going along the other side. Here's my glue book, so I'm just going to glue this down. Glue the piece right on down in there. Now, don't worry about how none of the, you know, this, this book is supposed to be random. Well, mine, I like to do it random, so I'm not worried about, oh, is it straight? Is it wrinkled? I don't care. And flip somewhere else. And I learned this sometime before 2016. So there's other um, videos up showing you just the same thing that I'm showing you. So this is nothing new. It's just a way to get started. And to make it look big and chunky before you even start. My glue books are not um, artistic collage books where it's going to look, oh, it's going to be a pretty layout when I'm done. No, it's not going to be that way. It's just random junk that I like to, I want to remember or, and it's really the exercise of just cutting and gluing. It's not the collage. It's not the finished product. Um, I'll keep fun things that, you know, I'll want to see in the future like, oh, this product packaging I'm crazy about product packaging and because sometimes the pack um product packaging packaging is quite interesting and I want to hold on to it and it changes over years so I want to paste down or glue down the product packaging oh well I'm gonna go here it's just fun stuff I don't want the same colors so I'm but that's how it is. Go through it. Each page. Because you know how we bought up all this washi tape sometimes. <laughs> Some of us more than others. I got this at Michael's. I can't remember. I want to say $5, but I'm not sure. It may not be. But it's in that every day. I think it is five dollars because I think it's in that every day section. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Because it was a while ago. And I'm not being particular with this. Because this is a junkie. Great, uh, my uh, glue book is junkie. It's not pretty. I mean, a page may turn out pretty, but I don't, 
go in with that gold. Oh, this is going to be a pretty layup. No. You can see it's already taken on. Right? A little bit of personality. Well, you don't have to, because that may look interesting after a while while that's sitting up. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then the other part is, we, is the fun part too is to really get this to be junky so you don't take it too seriously because it's junk it's, it's blue booking 
in a junky way. It's not perfect. It's not a pretty book. It's a place where I like to put my junk and my scraps. So this helps it me not to feel like this is going to be a place where it's going to be pretty. Usually I'm thinking about a lot of things and I don't have to worry about a finished layout or a finished product. I just want to come in and cut and paste. I'll come back through here. I just wanted to get to this part. This is therapeutic to do that. And so you see it's starting to get that thick look that we enjoy. See, and it's just begging you now. Please come in and do something down. Don't take me too seriously. That's okay. Because if this page comes down, you could take whatever you paste on it and go get somewhere else. You know, this book is telling you, I don't want you to take me too seriously. I just want you to glue stuff down. And I think that's what I, when that's what attracted me from glue, glue booking when I started in 2016. Oops. And I usually go around and save my um, pieces when I'm using these on projects, and I pick and I uh, glue them down. In my glue book. Sometimes this stuff is hard to get into. Okay. And it won't. Uh oh, this is too hard. That's not a writer. So you just keep going along. And it starts to take shape. And get that look that you want so it it will help you to start it will help it helps me it helped me to start put it that way because I junked it up <laughs> and again there's videos Prior to 2016, or 2016, that I, or on 2016, prior to 2016 or 2016. Well, this is how I learned to glue book. This is glue booking to me. You know, it, it's messy and junky. So I'm not showing anything new. I'm just showing what I learned four years ago. Because my glue book is starting to fill in. And so I said, let me sh make a new one and show them how I got started. Okay, you could even get creative with it. Put what you want in it. I saw this on my desk and I'm going to add this to it. I may have to get something heavier to glue that down later. And then also my own strips from um, my mixed media mingle. When I made my own strips, and that's always fun in my glue book. I'm gonna have to lay that down with a heavier glue. Oops! I know you guys were swinging over there, so I could lay this down. This step and begin gluing. You don't want it. 
I'm spending too much time. If you want to just get gluing, you don't need this step to get started. Skip this step. Or you could come in and add some of the strips from the paper, the um, identification strips from the paper, paper pads. Use what you want. Because I like mine to be a, is a scrappy, you know, of my scraps that I use from paper crafting. So all things are fair game. I don't have stuff you can add to the corners of and starting to really take on that glue book look that we, that I enjoy. See, I still have to get the back pages, but it is ready to begin. So thank you for watching how to personalize your glue book. Um I hope you give it a chance. You again this step is really unnecessary, but if you want it look like mine. Where is mine? Ooh, see it's starting to begin to here's the one we worked on in this session. And here's my that's been about um four years in the making. So all that juiciness right there on the edges. Don't look at that side because I I'll talk about that some other time but yeah getting started. I still, I think I uh, have some other trim I want to put in here because I like to see it peeping from the edges. So that's how I got started on my composition glue book. And I hope you give it a try. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.